I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. Just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. will be opened to the truth. We stand upon the threshold between this world and a new one, a better place where all might live as equals. But men like Al Mualim would see this dream destroyed. I see the way you look at me. Hear the things you say. A traitor? I'm not a traitor. It's Al Mualim who's betrayed us. Two days attack was but the first. And more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. Enough! I yield! I yield! 
Speak quickly, then. I've no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should, too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. <laughs> You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. <laughs> 